In GraphQL Spring Boot, we have this tracing instrumentation class, and this will allow us to track all of the time taken to execute each of our resolvers and fields. So it's pretty simple to get started with. So here we just enable tracing. So we set this to true and then we, we run our server. And if we go back to GraphQL Playground, we'll see that there's a tracing tab at the bottom right hand corner. So go ahead and play that request in and then you can click tracing. And here you can see that the first request took, but say this request took 63 milliseconds in total. And here you can see that the bank account took this long, the currency took this long, the client took this long, and each of them took a certain time. So it allows you to have the full breakdown of the query to hopefully explain more where the latency is and where, where you're having slow resolvers or it will identify slow resolvers. Now this can add a lot of overhead to your application. Um, so it's worth to note, depending how complex your queries are and what you're doing, this can actually slow down response times significantly. So I hope you, I encourage you to go have a little play, maybe do a sample um, from time to time and have some fun, see how clients are using your resolvers and which ones are taking a long time to execute. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next episode.